Hello students. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about an another important topic from your zoology section and that is the animal type cockroach. So we are going to focus and study about the morphology and the external features of the cockroach in this uh, video lecture and we will see that what are the different features that makes this insect unique enough to be included in the class of Insecta and Phylum Arthropoda. All right, so let's start with the description part first. Now, so as you can see on your screen, the model of cockroach being represented. All right, now cockroach, if we consider its scientific name, then the scientific name or the biological name of cockroach is periplaneta americana so basically uh, this species that means this genus which is periplaneta americana this is considered to be as the most common species of cockroach in the india now cockroach belongs to the class insecta and to the phylum of arthropoda all right cockroaches as you can see on your screen these are usually brown bodied animals so you can see that they are they you know they they are having an appearance of you know brown body so if you look from the above side or if you look uh, from the you know below side as well so it's completely a kind of a brown bodied animals which are usually nocturnal so they are brown bodied and nocturnal as well nocturnal means they usually prefer to live in the dark and damp places so lives in dark and damp places and apart from that they are considered to be as the omnivorous invertebrate animals so they are omnivorous animals all right so this is the case now if we consider the color of the you know uh, cockroaches that has been reported in the tropical regions that means in the countries like india so there are other uh, you know colors of uh, cockroaches also being reported so the different colors of cockroaches like you can say bright uh, you know yellow colored and then red colored and then green colored as well so color of cockroaches reported in the tropical regions so they might include you know bright yellow color so they may be bright yellow colored then red colored And green colored as well all right now if you look into the size of the cockroach this is then the size of the cockroach usually ranges from one oblique four inches one fourth inches to three inches so this is their measurement what about their shape so you can see that the shape of the cockroach is usually considered to be as elongated so this shape is elongated then they are usually segmented if you will see their body so their body is usually segmented so let me just show you with the slicer part so you can have an idea this one so you can see that how their bodies are segmented so these are segments of the body 
you can see over here so that's why they are segmented now apart from that they are dorso ventrally flattened that means they are having two surface one is the dorsal surface and the other is the ventral surface so they are dorso ventrally flattened so this upper surface which you can see over here that is from here to here that is called as dorsal surface this is the dorsal surface so the upper surface is called as the dorsal surface while if i'll uh, just uh, show you the lower surface that means this one which you can see this part which you can see over here this is considered to be as the lower surface so the lower surface is considered to be as the ventral surface all right so this that means the surface which will uh, bear the appendages that means the legs part so that will be the case all right now you know uh, they uh, if if we just talk about their symmetry all right uh then their 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 body is also having a very unique symmetry and that they show the pattern of usually bilateral symmetry so their body is bilaterally symmetrical so it is bilaterally symmetrical all right bilaterally symmetrical basically means that uh, their uh, when you know the, their body will be divided when when their body will go under the process of division then their body will get divided into two equal halves passing through the central plane only or passing through the uh, you know any one plane only so that will show that the body is going to be divisible into two equal halves so this indicates that their body is divisible into two equal halves passing through one plane so when the plane of division will be through only one direction that is through the center passing through one plane and that is you can say that plane should pass through the center of the body so that is through the center so this is called as bilaterally symmetrical now the other unique property of their uh, you know uh, body is that or their external morphology is that uh, you can uh, you know your their, their entire body if we consider their entire body then that their entire body has the presence of a chitinous exoskeleton all right so if you are just going to bring back all the things together like this one yeah so so this structure which you can see over here that means this part if i just isolate this part this part which you can see over here all right so this is called as chitinous exoskeleton so their entire body is usually you know their entire body has the presence of this chitinous exoskeleton which is hard enough to protect their body all right so we can just note this point as well that the exoskeleton of cockroach if you are going to consider it so entire body is covered by hard chitinous exoskeleton so chitin is a kind of a complex polysaccharide actually 
so chitinous exoskeleton so if we are just going to label it so this structure which you can see this is called as chitin chitinous exoskeleton that is why all right and i already uh, you know have shown you the isolated part and if i just you know label it with a different color like for example this one then you can just isolate it rather it will be you know more better all just i'll just drag the part as well this part which you can see over here these two parts so these two parts are actually indicating the skeletons chitin chitin exoskeleton all right now in each of the segment you know in each of these chitin exoskeleton uh, the exoskeleton is actually having the presence of hard plates which are called as sclerites all right so in you know in these uh, uh, i uh, chitinous exoskeleton or in each of the segments you can see if i just uh, draw a simple you know structure in order to make you people understand then this will go like this and there will be the presence of lateral sclerites over here like this all right so in each of the segments in each of the segment means basically this part we'll have to to use the isolation tool like this part so here which you can see over here that in each of the segments means here i am talking about in each of all these segments i'm here talking about so these are the segments all right so in each of the segments the exoskeleton is having hard plates you know the exoskeleton is further having the presence of hard plate that means the chitinous exoskeleton is further having the presence of harder plates which are called as sclerites which are called sclerites so sclerites are basically you know uh, it's a combination of two thing you can say that means the presence presence of tergites on the dorsal side and ster sternites on the ventral side that means sternum on the ventral sides so this basically means that tergites tergites or tergum you can say basically tergum so tergum dorsally and sternum ventrally like this so if if con considering this as a segment like for example if we are considering this as a segment this is a segment then the dorsal part that means the upper part this part is the tergum part all right and this part is the sternum part so the upper part that means the dorsal part is the tergum part and the lower part is the sternum part and the sclerites are the combination of two things that means this is a segment so this uh, this particular segment is having the presence of a harder uh, harder plate so this will be called as a lateral sclerite so this is a lateral sclerite basically all right now sclerites are actually joined to one another by a thin flexible articular membrane you can say you know you can see the presence of dot like structures over here here so these you know these tergum and sternum that means the entire sclerites they are joined to each other by a 
thin and flexible articular membrane which are called as arthrodial membrane so these are called arthrodial membrane which are actually connecting the sclerites or joining the sclerites to one another so we can note this point as well which is very important that sclerites are joined to each other by a thin and flexible articular membrane so thin and flexible articular membrane and this membrane is particularly called as arthrodial membrane so this is called as arthrodial membrane all right so this these are some of the important uh, features of the cockroach that we have seen and we have seen that how exactly their structure their size their color their nature uh, looks like you know uh, in india if we are going to see you know apart from all these things that we have actually seen breaking back the model to its original place yeah like this so in case of india uh, commonly three species of cockroaches has been reported so three species of cockroach are commonly found in india so they are commonly found in india and those are periplaneta americana which is the most common one that we have already seen then there is blatta orientalis so this is blatta orientalis and then there is blatta germanica so these are the three most commonest species or the commonly found species uh, of cockroach in india in which this one this one periplaneta americana this is the most common species of cockroach cockroach in india all right so this is all about the external morphology of the cockroach that we have seen thank you